Let's go ahead and finish our game by adding a way to lose and a way to win. You'll notice that I deleted the bricks on the bottom of the screen. I did this so the ball could pass through the bottom of the screen and we would therefore lose the game. And also to win the game, how about we destroy all the bricks that are present on screen. Go ahead and rearrange things accordingly now. After you're done, double click the ball. Add an event. Other. Outside room. When the ball is outside the room, destroy the ball so it no longer exists under the main tab. Under that same tab, restart the room. Give it a transition if you like. But what about displaying our high score table? Click the score tab. Show high score. Drag that before it restarts the room. You can leave things as is or you can mess around with them if you wish. Click OK. Click OK. Go ahead and save. Everything is now done for the high score ta table. But how are we earning score? How about each time the ball hits a brick we get so many points? Double click ball. Look under the brick under the event. How about if the ball collides with the brick, go to score, set score, test score, draw. We want to we want to set the score. Add as many points as you wish. I like a high score, so I'm going to give myself a lot of points. Relative. That means your score, instead of changing to the number, it will add the number. To minus number, just leave it under relative and add a negative sign. OK. Let's go ahead and play the game and see what happens. Got a couple score. Here we go. I got 500 points. All right, and it restarts the level. Now let's create a way to win the level entirely and also show the high score table. How about when all the bricks are destroyed? Double click the bar, under step, add this command. Go to go to control and drag in the test instance count. This means if there are number of bricks, if there are zero bricks on the screen, again drag these brackets if you wish, so if there are zero bricks on the screen Let's create an instance of that high score table again. And for now, we'll do a simple restart of the level, kind of like we did when we lost the game. If you wanted to, you could add it to where it loads a you win screen or a you lose screen if you were to lose. And I'm going to again create from the center transition. Now, I'm not going to demonstrate that it works. Just trust me, it works. So now we got it to where we've won and we've lost the game. 